Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the West Side School for the Gifted. Graduates of tomorrow event. Every single West Side alumni has gone on to achieve great things in their professions. We expect nothing less of you, future graduates. We do not produce mediocrity. As you know, in order to be eligible to graduate, all senior students must speak today. Let's begin by hearing what great things West Side has manifested. When I came to Westside, I was just another sad early teen with complexion challenges and low to no self-esteem. But slowly, with the support of my teachers in the online web dominance course here at Westside, I started a YouTube channel and now have 6 million subscribers to my channel, Makeup, Makeover, Makeout. Log on now and I can give you tips on how to do just the right amount with your makeup. Bring out the natural you. Subtlety is what it's all about. Thank you, Westside. Like and subscribe. Dude, don't stress. You're gonna be fine. Just don't stress, okay? Yeah, you got this. Just uh, take deep breaths with me. In. My world tour with Lady Gaga kicks off in three weeks. The singing and dancing training I have received here at Westside will really set the stage for my success. Oh, and my fashion line will be released in conjunction with the tour. Don't worry. Just focus on what you're going to say and you can do this. That's the thing. I don't have anything to say. What? Ever since winning the Junior International MMA Championships, my life has been on track for a professional career. I am training for my first major bout in Las Vegas this fall. Also, my first chain of training gyms will be open by then. See the board? Break the board. Thank you, Westside. Yeah, I don't have any plans for after high school yet. I should, I know. I took the SATs and did okay. 
I did some applications, but nothing fits. <laughs> I'm paralyzed by all this dumb pressure to be great in a superhero at something even before I graduate from high school. <laughs> and I'm not. The culinary arts world is often a masculine frontier. Well, I am having none of that misogyny. I am one of a handful of young female chefs around the world, taking our palates and plates into a new era. My restaurants in New York, Los Angeles, and Buenos Aires have opened and have at least two Michelin stars in each one. We are specializing in a new type of meal. Tiny portions on huge plates at even huger prices. We're taking reservations now, but you better hurry. We're all booked up through 2021. Thank you. I'll be off to MIT in September. Okay, just get up there and wing it. Talk about your dreams and your aspirations and that should work, right? <laughs> I will be continuing my Buddhist studies at a temple in Lost Tibet. I expect to achieve full enlightenment by next month. Oh. And I'm on a scholarship to you. Namaste. I don't have any dreams or aspirations. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like somewhere along the lines I forgot how to dream. Some people can do that stuff. But I'm a little broken in that department. I just feel dead. I am pleased to announce that both of my patents for completely self-sustaining, solar roof, and perpetual permaculture gardens have been approved. Also, I'm working for Elon Musk and Solar City in the fall. I'm also receiving an honorary degree from Oxford University. I am going to die. Being a girl is hard. Being a girl that's a professional wrestler even harder. But thanks to the weight training program and the coaches at Westside School for the Gifted, I am ready for the WWE. I will be taking on and destroying challengers worldwide after graduating. Find me at hashtag manslaughter. Sam! You're up next. Show us what you got. Make us proud. Before coming to Westside, I was a terrible math and science student. A one-dimensional jock with no future at all. But after four years at Westside, well, I'm a NASA astronaut. In fact, I'm the youngest astronaut in the history of the program. <laughs> I will be embarking on the first manned mission to Uranus. <laughs> I'm very excited. Nobody's ever traveled to Uranus before. <laughs> okay. It's a weird name for a planet, but it'll be an incredible mission after all. This is ground control to Major Me. What a miracle. Sam! You're up! Let's go now! <laughs> school and my 
Get off! <laughs> ah! Ah! Because that is, uh, well, exactly what we need to fix. You haven't been clear about your choices, and we're going to remedy that. I know it's a lot to take in all at once, but now we really should get going. The Van Lorien is double parked, and Doc is waiting. And, uh, well, she doesn't have a license. Van what? <sighs> okay, we try to make this easy, but now we really need to get you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! Get in! There's party enforcement everywhere! And they're totally corrupt in this town. Aren't you girls coming? Nah, we're gonna hold it down here till you guys get back. Coffee bean has two full ice blended till noon. We should introduce ourselves. That's Doc. There's Clarissa. And I'm Claire. But who we are and where we're from isn't important right now. The real question is why are you here? Let me tell you. You are here because you haven't done a proper breakdown for your life yet. You aren't clear about what you want for your future because you haven't made specific choices. So we are going to help you break down your future right here, right now. But I blew it. My future is ruined. Do you know what happened in there? You can't undo that. Let us worry about that. For now, we are going to focus on the task at hand. There are eight questions in a breakdown for your life, and we'll be needing one clear answer for each. Got it? Okay. We can't make you do this. It has to be your choice. So, Farin, open that door. Of course. We all know how it ends if you don't. Adventure. Okay, good. Now focus on that. Now what do you see? I don't see anything. No, wait.
job, Sam. Now, where are you? And who do you want to run? This is amazing, you guys. My friends are so inspiring, and I feel this sense of support that I never have before. You're studying art and photography at UCLA just like you once dreamed a long time ago. You're doing really great, Sam. But now, I want you to think, what had to happen to get you here? and why do you want it? Okay. What I really like most in life is being creative. I love how I feel when I'm expressing myself and my ideas. I like connecting with people and seeing the world through the eyes of others. So acting, writing, photography, art. But that's the thing. I don't know which to choose. I feel like I have to pick just one, but I love all of them. Why do you have to choose just one? Why limit yourself? You can do all of it. Yeah? Who told you you just had to pick one? I guess I told myself. And that leads us to the final question. What's standing in your way? I guess... I am. I doubt myself a lot. And I feel like I'm not good enough or don't have what it takes. Don't tell us. Tell her. That's me when I was just a kid. I begged my teacher for the lead in the school play. 
but I messed it up. Did you bring the magic beans? I uh, uh, wanted to. I, 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 I went. Yes, you do have the beans. I'm sorry, I can't. a lot of time thinking about what I want for myself in the future. And I've learned a lot about that recently. We all think we're supposed to have our lives mapped out by now. But I realized that I don't. I've just begun to learn about myself and who I am. And I'm only just beginning to figure things out. I don't know what I'm going to be. And you know what? That's okay. Growing up is hard. Figuring out who you are, who you want to be, and who you will be is heavy. I'm 16, and I don't know who I'm going to be. I suspect I'm going to make a lot of mistakes along the way. And that's okay too. Because I know I'll figure it out. I'm not worried. And you shouldn't be either. We have our whole lives ahead of us. 
whatever happens in the future, let's not forget to enjoy the present. Thank you. Of momentum, I've allowed my fears to get larger than. 